Welcome to Nano Learnings. Hi, I'm Abhishek, and in this Nano video, we are going to learn the concept of effective mass. What is effective mass? The electrons in a crystals are not completely free, but instead interact with the periodic potential of the lattice. It is given by the expression m star is equal to h cut square divided by d square e by d k square where E is a energy of the particle and K is a crystal moment. Uh, the particle can have either positive or negative effective mass which depends on the position of the particle in the EK diagram. The figure shows the EK diagram for electron at the bottom of the conduction band at K is equal to zero where the velocity and kinetic energy are zero and thus the total energy is zero. Figure B shows electron in a local minima where it has a different effective mass and figure C shows electron near the top of the pan. As we have learned, the effective mass is inversely proportional to the double derivative of the EK diagram. In the left hand side of the diagram, the effective mass is small and in the right hand side of the diagram, the effective mass is large. And so the memory aid is a haze pin is lighter than a frying pan. This is an EK diagram of a silicon which is commonly used in most of the devices. The figure shows that maximum of the valence band lies at wave number where it is equal to zero and minimum of the conduction band lies at different value of the wave number. It is also known as indirect band gap. The, this table shows the effective mass and energy band gap of germanium silicon and gallium arsenide. Germanium has the smallest band gap which is around 0.66 electron volt and gallium arsenide has the highest band gap which is around 1.424 electron volt. If you look at the effective mass for density of states for electrons and holes, gallium arsenide has the lowest value for electrons and germanium has the lowest value for holes. And if you look at the effective mass for conducting, silicon has the highest value for electrons and gallium arsenide has four holes. Now its significance. Small effective mass means small inertia or higher mobilities. It may thus be wise to use speed of silicon if higher frequency matters and everything else does not matter. Germanium has the smallest effective mass for holes. This means that holes respond quickly to the acceleration force of an electric field. In other words, if speed depends on the effective mass of the carrier, germanium still works at higher frequency where other uh, semiconductor has given up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel Nano Learnings.